second track, guitar uh, technique sent me was uh, a backing track called Biscuit in the Basket, which uh, I had no idea what to expect with a, with a track title like that. Um, but again, tons of fun. I had a lot of fun playing with this. And uh, when I first started jamming on it, I thought there was some odd time stuff happening, but um, you kind of find the groove and you just lock right into it. This one was interesting because it had a, a key change. It had a modulation in it. Um, I was thinking of it as G natural minor or um, or I guess E flat Lydian was kind of where I heard a lot of the tonality, especially with some of those first lines I'm doing, like a lot of the... Uh... mentioning in the past, the first breakdown, uh, I don't, I'm not spending too, too much time overanalyzing or trying to make everything perfect. I'm, I'm using what theory knowledge I have plus my ear, plus just whatever feels good at the time. I'm trying to just use my, I guess, musical sense um, that myself as a 29-year-old guitar player has. Um, <laughs> so there's that, and then it changed to uh, B flat, B flat minor. So again, I'm tuned down half step. So, pardon, pardon the uh, confusion if there is any. Um, and again, for that, I'm thinking of it as a lot of pentatonic stuff, uh, uh, chromaticism, arpeggios. You know, a lot of licks I was doing were based around this idea. Of <laughs> That's just a mixture of muscle memory and and just seeing the key and, and trying to do something interesting with, uh, with it on the fly. A lot of arpeggios, like I said, and, and pentatonics and um, string skipping. <laughs> But again, you know, for the most part, I, I don't um, I don't worry too too much about the licks themselves or, or the, the the super fine details. I'm thinking more about the rhythm. Uh, is what I'm playing interesting rhythmically against that. So you, you you'll notice I I try and play with a lot of space in the beginning, and I think about how am I building the solo, uh, where is it going? Maybe I'll start down lower register and slowly make my way up, or the opposite. I'll just kind of do whatever feels right at the time. But for the most part. It's all about the rhythm and um, what's musical as opposed to is this the most technical thing I could be playing at any time. So yeah, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed what I did with these tracks. Um, if there's any lick in, in particular that, that you liked, it should all be transcribed. Um, honestly, I can't remember exactly what I played on these because uh, it was definitely just an improvisation, just off the cuff whatever I was feeling at the time. And I, I really urge a lot of you guys to try and do the same thing. Um, just go with what feels right. And over time, you get better, you get better and better at that. Your musical sense for that stuff uh, will improve at a shocking rate. And, you know, I, I listen to a lot of different guitar players, a lot of different styles of music. And uh, a lot of that rubs off on me in, in the weirdest ways sometimes. So, you know, that's probably the best advice I can give anybody for improvising. And more importantly, I know this is super, super cliche and cheesy, but just try and enjoy it. That's really what it comes down to. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>